Well, good evening, uh, everyone, and welcome. It's remarkable that so many have, of you have come after a long, hard day. So we hope we're going to give you a, an interesting and challenging uh, debate. My name is James Painter. I'm from the BBC World Service and the Reuters Institute for the Study of Journalism at Oxford University. So I can see already you're thinking, what the hell does he know uh, about the topics that we're going to discuss? And the answer is, I don't know very much. And the thinking of the organizers is that this is actually going to help uh, the debate, not only because uh, my discipline is radio and television. And for those of you who deign to have anything to do with journalists, you know that you have to say something nice and quickly while capturing the complexity of the science in less than 30 seconds if you're going to get on air. So I'm afraid I'm going to be quite brutal uh, with the panelists uh, if they uh, uh, talk uh, for too long. The way that we're going to uh, uh, run this session is that we have eight incredibly eminent panelists whom I believe many of you know. But if we went through all their uh, bibliographies and all their, uh, sorry, all their publications and all their uh, 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 list of achievements, it would take up all the debate. So we're going to start in a minute just by asking them to spend no more than one minute saying what they do and what they feel passionate about in this whole area of uh, 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 social research or other types of research and its application to the global challenges. We're going to talk for about 40 minutes, probably 45 minutes, uh, around a series of questions which you will have seen. I'm not going to go through them now in the publicity about this event. And then we're going to open it up uh, to the floor. Uh, and we're going to also try and take questions in clusters, so there's some at least uh, organization uh, 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 to this event. And we're going to try and finish at half past seven so you're not late for uh, the reception and the drinks after uh, such a, a, a long day. Okay, so what, as I say, what we're going to do to start is the, the, the panelists are going to um, introduce themselves very briefly uh, and say what they feel passionately about, about this topic. So I'm going to start with Kate. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Kate Brown, and um, I'm a teacher and a researcher at the University of East Anglia in the UK. Um, I work on climate change and international development. I'm part of a research center called the Tyndall Center um, for Climate Change Research. Um, I guess I'm most gravely concerned um, about our collective failure, really, to address problems of entrenched poverty around the world. And I suppose that um, the contribution that I'd like to make, and um, in a very small way, and what I hope um, this group can make, is to really thinking about how we can harness our energies and our creativity and our knowledge and skills to kind of address these profound inequities um, in terms of welfare, in terms of access to resources, in terms of rights, um, both within and between communities around the world. Well, I'm afraid Kate would never have got on the BBC. That's far more than a minute, but at least she gave you a very good sense. <laughs> Sorry to be so rude. Roger, if you'd like to go next, and One even, even shorter. <laughs> even shorter. Uh, I'm Roger Kasperson. I'm from Clark University, Massachusetts in the United States. Uh, and I am passionate, for this meeting at least, uh, about two things. Uh, one about inequality, including poverty, but that's not the only kind of inequality I'm concerned about. And secondly, I'm concerned that we all in this room are not going to be sufficient to provide the social science and human-based knowledge uh, that is required for environmental governance in the coming period. And I'm afraid we've already missed it. Um, I'm Oren Young, I suppose that's probably fairly common knowledge <laughs> for this time. I'm from the University of California. I work on issues of environmental governance. Uh, and what I'm passionate about is whether we can find a way to uh, avoid moving beyond the uh, planetary boundaries. Great. Nicole? My name is Nicole De Wand. I work in the European Commission in DG Research. My task within the organization is to build 
some accountability uh, about how EU-funded research contributes to sustainable development. What I'm passionate about is to restore or to engage, into, um, engage in confidence. I find often that knowledge leads to despair, and uh, I'm missing the voice, minds, and thought of women. Uh, often, I think knowledge needs to be built on care more than on mastering and violation of nature, which is the original setup sort of a scientific inquiry. And we need to move from a scientific representation that science is about with a, di a dialogue with a sort of God or stealing secret of, of the creator and, and, and whispering to the earth, I would say, instead, and listening back to the echo. Thank That's you. That's great. Thank you very much. Carlo? I'm Carlo Jäger. I'm an economist working at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. My mind is focused mainly on the attempt to understand the interactions between financial risks and climate risks. Hi, my name, my name is Jim Beiser, and I'm at Arizona State University, where, where I serve as a science policy advisor to the president. Uh, what that means is I'm charged with transforming the university. And prior to this, I spent um, 20 years at uh, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, where I built um, programs that bridge between the natural sciences and the application of natural sciences uh, results. Uh, I'm passionate, particularly passionate, about the role of educational institutions in preparing integrated knowledge for solutions and preparing the future leaders that are going to do a better job at bridging than we have. That's great. Thank you very much. Can I have this? Okay. My name is Gernot Klepper. I'm an economist at the Kiel Institute for the World Economy, a truly disciplinary institute. And I'm a speaker of the Kiel Earth Institute, a truly interdisciplinary institute. Um, what I most care about is uh, how, can we c how can we do good integrative research, bringing disciplines together and still have high quality research. And the second thing that I care about is how can we assure the quality of that research because that is decisive for getting it to the society and being responsible to the demands of society. And finally, Jiu Mai. <coughs> um, hi, I'm Xiu Mei Bai. I'm from um, CSIRO Sustainable Ecosystems from Australia. Um, most of my work are focused on cities and that's where my passion lies. And I'm interested in, you know, thinking about how cities really function and how they change over time and what are the fundamental drivers, processes, mechanisms underneath those changes and how can they really steer their trajectories toward a more sustainable end. Well, that's a, I think gives you a very, very good flavor of their passions and many of those topics we're going to try and uh, address now in the next uh, 30, 40 minutes. Um, what I'm going to start with is just to ask Oren to remind us uh, of the context for this discussion, that business as usual is not working, and that uh, uh, we need to, or at least the science uh, community obviously needs to address itself to that. So what are the implications for the science community of business as usual not working? Oren. Well, very quickly, 